today I'm Frankie G the Cooking Cowboy and today I'm going to be making a couple of different meals for you. Meal number one is I'm going to be making a butterball turkey breast. It's right here. It's wrapped in a netting. Also I'm going to be making, uh, I'll show you in a little while, some pork tender ones. Now today's video is not about the food really. Well it is. It's always about the food but it really what it is about is this new tool I've gotten called the Meter 2 Plus. All right. And I'll show you what that is in a minute. But so this is just garbage. And it also comes with this packet of gravy, but I don't use it so. <coughs> Sorry, Raina. Alright. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do with this turkey brush, you'll notice it comes with a netting. You don't want to ever remove the netting while you're cooking, but what you want to do is you want to kind of pull on it and just move a little bit, like because it's kind of dug in to the meat and you want to get it out of there so it's easier to remove later on so you just want to pull it away a little and move it just slightly once we do that now it's already been rinsed so I'm just going to take a little bit of this is avocado oil spray it on there as a binder now I've already rinsed it off and patted it dry and I'm going to use my favorite seasoning. This is from McCormick. It's pink Himalayan sea salt, black pepper, and garlic. Not garlic powder, like a garlic uh, granules. So you want to sprinkle that on liberally. Make sure you coat it on all sides. Don't be shy, all right? Don't be shy with those seasonings. It's all about flavor. So here's where the Meter 2 Plus comes in. I use it in conjunction with my phone and it's this little probe here and basically what it is it's a thermometer that reads the internal temperature of the whatever it is you're cooking not only does it read the internal temperature but it also reads the ambient air outside of the uh, outside of the meat but inside the oven so what we need to do is we need to go to the meter app which is right where is that meter right there okay now you'll see that it's not really on yet so once we take this probe out oh and by the way this nice little fancy box that it comes in is actually the charging uh, the charging stand for this tool here now you'll see it's blinking green here so you'll sit this here and now you'll see it's lit up so you press this little area here so it says set up cook now we're cooking poultry we're cooking turkey we're cooking breast uh, we're doing it in the oven and it says 167 but i'm going to increase that to 170. it said a 170 minimum on the package so that's what we're going for so now you simply take this probe you stick it in now there are four lines on this end you got to go or there's I'm sorry there's a line here and so you have to go at least this far into it and on this end of the probe there is four temperature probes and on this end there's one so you got to go in the center about that far at least that's it now we take this and we put it in the oven and time doesn't matter to me I don't care about time I care about internal temperature that's what's most important to me. So now we're going to put this in the oven, which has been preheated to 325 degrees. We're going to start cook. Oh, it tells me that the audio volume may be too low, so we're going to raise that audio volume up. I'm also going to come in here and I'm going to put my settings on. And we're going to go display and brightness says one minute I'm going with never I don't want it to shut off I want to be able to see what it's going on the whole time and that's it it tells you here on the left the internal temperature of the meat and then in the center is your target temperature that's in blue and the oven is the ambient temperature in green and that's it we just leave that and when it gets to about 164 degrees this baby's going to tell me take it out of the oven because it's time to rest and that's all there is to it so in a little while I'm going to come back and I'm going to get started with the pork tenderloin. So I'll see you in a little while. 
So we're back. And as you can see, there's only about 35 minutes left on the turkey that's in the oven. So let's get started on the pork one. But I'm also going to be making some tater tots, and they happen to be going in the Ninja Foodi air fryer oven for 425 for about 30 minutes. And they're both at the same temperature, both about the same time, hopefully. So let's get that started. Let me get the uh, tray out for the tater tots. So a little trick what you want to do is you want to get this spray all over the place, this avocado oil spray. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to spray over this. So now you kind of get it on the pork loin and you also get it on the tater, on the uh, tray. So I'm going to spread some of these out. Maybe a little bit more. Give them a little spray on top as well. Spread a little salt on them. And we're also going to want to put a little bit of cracked pepper on them. And we're going to put these on level three in the Ninja Foodi 10 and one air fryer oven. One, two, three. So now we're going to get this tray out for the pork one. And I've already oiled these up, as you can tell, with the, um, the avocado oil. So what I want to put on it now is some paprika. You don't want to go crazy with it because you're going to be putting pepper on it too. And paprika is a pepper. You want to overkill. Put this here and bring this here so we can see it better. Get some salt. And some cracked pepper. Not too much. Turn it over and repeat the process. Just like that. Then some more salt. Loosen it. And some pepper. And that's it. We're going to keep it simple. So, we also want to spray a little on the car oil right there. We're going to place this on the pan, like so. Maybe give it a little more paprika for some color. Now, we're going to do two level cooking on air roast for about 30 minutes at 425 degrees. So we're going to put this on level one. And the tater tots are already in there on level three. So what I'm gonna do is put the power on. And we're gonna switch that function to air roast. And then we're going to say two levels, levels one and level three, that's what we have it on. We're gonna go drop the temperature down to 425. And we're going to increase the time we're going to start with 25 minutes. And we're going to start. Now, there is a pre warm up time, but I don't even pay attention to it. I just put it in, let it start, let it do its thing. And then we're going to check it in about 20, 25 minutes to check on the internal temperature. What I'm shooting for with the uh, pork one is about 145 degrees internal temperature. All right, so I'll see you in about 25 or 30 minutes. Okay, we're back. Now the timer just went off over there on the Ninja Foodi, so I'm going to be checking the internal temperature there. 
This one says it has about 15 minutes remaining. The internal temperature is a little over 159 degrees. We're shooting for 170. So we're going to let that just keep cooking. And we're going to check the internal temperature of the um, pork loin. Let's go check that out now. Okay, so according to this, it's reading about 160. So let's see what the back one says. Let's get ourselves a little mitten here so we can check the internal temperature of the one in the back. That one says about 143 degrees. So I'm taking them out. And I'm going to put them right here. Get that probe out. Put this one right here. I'm just going to let them sit for a little while. I'm going to put this off on the side. Let's get a tater tot. Mm. Tater tots are crunchy. I'm just going to let them sit in there. So what I'm going to do here is, I'm going to loosely tent this and just let it rest. Now I'm just waiting on the uh, turkey. It says 13 minutes remaining. It's got an internal temperature of 160 degrees. So as soon as that's ready to come out of the oven, I'll come back. I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay. So the timer says there's five minutes remaining. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here. I've got some uh, corn and it's got some string beans. That, they're canned corn and canned string beans. But at this point, you know, that's not the starter show. The starter show is the meat and, of course, the meter to uh, temperature pro. So let's go turn on the oven here. I mean, turn on the stove. Like that one. And we're gonna like that one. Get the string beans and the street corn going. In the meantime, this has been resting. So I do wanna check this out here. Let me go get a good piece of paper here. And put that right there. And let's get a fork. So I want to slice this one down the middle. And I'm going to slice this one down the middle. If you look at that, there's no pink inside. I would have liked maybe a little bit of pink, but they're pretty well cooked. Let's cut a piece here. Another piece down. Let's give that a try. Wow. That is so juicy. Not dry at all. Cooked to perfection. Let's come over here. And stir the string beans and the corn. Mm, so good. Let them do their thing. And the tank is back up again. That was really good. Now it's telling me there's two minutes remaining on the cook time. The internal temperature is 166 and we're, again we're shooting for 170 so what's going to happen here in a couple of minutes is it's going to come out and we're going to put this turkey on this one and it's probably going to have to rest for a couple of minutes. One minute to go. I'm getting excited. Let's get these off. As you can hear that, the timer went off. It's telling me remove 
from the heat. Now it's going to be resting. So now, I'm going to get this here. I'm going to let that rest. Put this on top of the stove here. And we're going to be resting this. It says 13 minutes to rest. So this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back in 13 minutes whenever it's rested. We're going to cut the netting off it. We're going to slice it up and we're going to see how it came out. I'll see you in about 13 minutes. Okay, so I'm going to get the tater tots out now. Grab this. the tater tots right here let's get a little container for those let's see let's see is this one big enough it's gonna have to be let's grab something out of here hopefully these won't be stuck not too bad. Turn this this way. All right. Let's get them into the little container here. This in the sink. Come on, stay with me. Stay with me, come on. Put this baby in the sink. Let's get some salt. Okay. Let's get a little taste of the tater tots. You know what? It says there's five minutes of resting left. We were shooting for 170. It says 170.5. I don't know why it wants it to rest for another five minutes. But we're going to go ahead and remove this probe. Now remember, the probe is hot. So... There it is, the temperature probe, the meter 2 plus. Oh, it just said ready. Look at that. It just said ready. So now we're going to shut this down. It's no longer needed. We're going to take our scissors. We're going to cut the string off. And remember, when I started this whole process, I move this string around the first time so it's easier to get off because last time I did this it was a little harder to get it off. Let's pull this right out of here. Okay, let's get this in the garbage. Now we're going to use the other knife because you don't want to mix the two knives together. I'm going to cut this baby right down the middle. Wow. Look at that. It's glistening. It's glistening. It's so juicy. But let's cut ourselves a piece. Ooh, that is hot. So let's. Cut a piece off here. Let's get a taste. Wow. That is so good. I don't know if you could tell, but look how 
juicy and how glistening that is. Look, it's just dripping. Turkey's cooked through. The seasonings are phenomenal. This came out so good. Tater tots. Crunchy. Wow. So there you have it. We've made a nice turkey breast, a butterball turkey breast. And we also made some pork loin and some tater tots. I got some corn and, and string beans going. But this, this is an invaluable tool. The Meter 2 Plus. It again has four temperature probes inside which will gauge the temperature internally of the meat at four different locations and again one on this end to check the ambient temperature of the air around it. So until next time this is Frankie G the Cooking Cowboy. Oh and don't forget if you like what you see don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications. Until next time this is Frankie G the Cooking Cowboy signing off. I'll see you later. See you one more taste of this. Look. No. Excellent. I'll see you later. Sayonara.